cause of baldness. They blame faulty stem cells whose job it is to make new hair. Although the cells still work, the new hair they make is invisible to the naked eye, which would explain the classic appearance of a bald spot. Well, Dr Bessam Fajo is a hair transplant surgeon working in Manchester and also London's Harley Street. He's there in our Manchester studios. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is that an explanation, the faulty stem cells, that make sense to you? Uh, yes, I mean, this has been a, a debate going on for a long time, whether when someone goes bald, whether you lose the hair cells altogether or they're still sitting there dormant waiting to be stimulated. So what this research is showing I is proving that perhaps this, you know, the stem cells are there and if we can find the switch to, to regenerate them, or switch them back on, then that could provide the clue for possible future treatments. Yes, exactly, because... Uh all of that excitement about possible cures, it is on that basis, isn't it, that uh, if you can find what kick-starts these stem cells, then you've got it. Yes, that's what this research is pointing to, although other researchers uh, debate the point that uh, another way forward could be to inject uh, cells, lab-produced cells as well, and so there's two types of research going. Uh, and we ourselves, uh, funny enough, in Manchester, we're involved in years in, in trying to uh, create new cells, but this provides another avenue and perhaps a uh, promise of, of treatments if we can find the actual uh, uh, factors in the body that can uh, stimulate these cells back into producing hair cells then that could be an easier way forward. This research in America has caused a certain degree of excitement, but how close, how far away do you think talk of, of a possible cure is? Uh, I think it's probably a, a quite a while, a quite, quite a way away. This is a very basic research. Um, uh, unfortunately, it takes a very long time for results of research to come through. Uh, so now that we know the, the, the stem cells are, uh, are there to be re-stimulated, but it could take quite a while for us to find which factors are particularly needed and when they are needed, figure out a way of how we can introduce them back in the body. So I, I, I think it's certainly many years away. It's interesting because I was listening to the Radio 5 Live phone in on this subject this morning and it was fascinating the way there's almost a, a split out there in terms of a lot of people really relaxed about going bald, others absolutely traumatised about it. And I suppose you see mostly people in that second category, don't you? Well, yes. I mean, I think if you were to, to, to give somebody the choice, instantly have hair or no hair, most people would prefer to have hair. But there is a certain category of people where hair loss affects them uh, so much that they would seek uh, treatments for it, whether it's medicines or whether, whether it's surgery. And certainly I see all, all kind of people, from the people who are extremely anxious uh, to the people who are not so anxious, but they still like the hair because they, they, it's, it's a period in their life when, they, when, when, when they're able to do that. Dr. Fajo, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Right, time now for a check on the weather. It's going to get colder.